Good morning, Delaware State University. I am Kayla Morrison with WDSU TV. This morning, we're in the Martin Luther King Student Center at the President's second annual prayer breakfast, where faith, family, and friends are bridging the community. Um, I, I'm proud of the fact, first of all, that we're doing it all because we never had a presidential prayer breakfast here until last year. So I'm very proud of that. Uh, this year in particular, I'm proud of the fact that we have somebody like Tammy Trout and an HBCU prayer breakfast. I mean, most people would think, okay, we're going to have black folks up here singing. We did. We did. Our prayer breakfast choir was mostly black folks, you know, with a couple of white folks in there. Um, but Tammy Trout is a wonderful artist, and she's going to really, she's going to be coming up pretty soon here. And there's no doubt in my mind she's going to really minister to them and bless them, and they're going to react like they're blessed. So I'm kind of proud like that, that we can be an HBCU, we can be predominantly black, but we can also be diverse in our activities. And I'm very proud of that. I think that's the way, you know, I, when I was growing up, we had a song, uh, what color is God's skin? What color is God's skin? Well, he's black, brown, and yellow. He is red, and he is white. Everything's the same in the good Lord's sight. We used to sing that as a kid, and it's kind of stayed with me. So that's my slant on the Lord, and I think he's pleased with this. Well, Dell State, it's safe to say that the president's second annual prayer breakfast was a success and a blessing. Tune in next time to DS Unity. I'm Kayla Morrison with WDSU-TV.